Daryl to throw for the ball. Here we go then, the final of Players' Championship 25 here. Live from Barnsley Metrodome. Bullseye. And a meeting between Daryl Gurney and Nathan Aspinall. Two major champions going toe-to-toe. Outside, -to -toe Daryl won the decider, ball. Both of them producing a consistent level. Daryl to throw fairly first. Having comfortable victories all the way throughout this afternoon. It's Daryl Gurney's first final since Melbourne. It's Nathan Aspinall's first final since Las Vegas. And now they're here battling it out 134. in Barnsley. Where they've both won a title before. It is, for the pair of them, their only floor success. One of them is going to double that 134. talent And Dan Dawson joins me, Chris Murphy, to talk you through it. Yeah, well, we've got two major champions here, but as you say, two guys who are not used to picking up titles in these floor events. 41. And it is a curiosity. Darrell Gurney in particular. I mean, Nathan Aspinall, you can kind of... Everything's happened so quickly for Nathan over the last year. It is almost... It's almost a year to the week, isn't it, that he picked up that first senior title, beat Ryan Searle. But then everything has just snowballed very, very quickly for Nathan Aspinall. 58. But Daryl Gurney, I mean, he's been near the top for the last couple of years, won a couple of major titles, and yet still only has that one player's championship or floor title to his name. Well, Aspinall threatening to break in the first leg here. 58. And not really been threatened by Gurney. Treble 17 will clean this up, but he will be back. 36. Could fill this up and leave double 15. 140. <laughs> well, he attempted to. Will it matter? Double top for Nathan to break the throw. Down for double 10. Oh, that's 15. a long way off. Long, long way off. You can see he didn't like how that left his hand. Treble 18 then for Gurney. Should have surrendered the advantage of throwing first immediately. Game shot. But he's nicked the leg back with that 70 out. A clinical kill from Daryl Gurney, who has been very, very comfortable all afternoon. Nobody has got closer to him than three legs behind all day. That's very dominant stuff from the world number three. Uh, and I tell you what, I like the celebration there from Daryl Gurney because it shows it means something to him. Really? He's done that? That seemed a ridiculously foolish dart to throw. And yeah, he's just gone the other side of the dart that was firmly in the board and come away with a ton forward. 59. Uh, a lot of players, you've seen you've seen it in the interviews now, a lot of the top players are saying, look, the floor tournaments, you've got to pick 60. and choose, the calendar's so crowded. But even even the way they view them, they're, they're not the be-all and end-all. You go back a, a year, Nathan Aspinall, 57. winning one of these is a life-changing event. Whereas for Daryl Gurney, these are here to just sort of try and keep him sharp. And yes, of course, he needs to pick up money and everything, but he's gearing 100. up for all the big TV tournaments. And yet, he finds himself in a final for the second time this year by playing some good, solid stuff today. And the way he reacted in that first leg to winning 96. it suggests to me that this does mean something. And it is important for him to be a winner. Yeah, well, of course, every time a player tours the hockey, they are fighting to win that match, wherever it is, whatever it's for. But I'm sure that the motivation levels go up the further you get in the tournament. Aspinall has a long way to completing this combination. A wonderful check out from Nathan Aspinall. With Gurney poised on double 12, a 155 to tie it up at one apiece. Fabulous check out from the Asp. It's only the fourth time these two have gone head to head. Nathan's won one of them. 100. That was earlier on this year in Sindelfingen at the European Darts Grand Prix, the European Tour. The other two won by Superchin. One on Wigan 55. in the Pro Tour, and one back in 2017. That was the year that Gurney became a PDC winner on the Tour. It remains his only floor title more than two and a half years 140. ago. 140. Beat Kim Hybrex. Very nearly did the double that weekend, but Joe Cullen beat him in the final the following day. 140. Well, Aspinall has had a, a remarkable year, winning that UK Open title and the... US Masters in Las Vegas. 
has reached a couple of floor finals this year himself. 180. Nathan and will be disappointed to have not won at least one of them. Defeats against Willie O'Connor and Christoph Rutajski. Yeah, just seems to run out of steam on both occasions. But he looks pretty lively here. Gurney, treble 10 for double 16. That's in the treble. 49. He can't find the double just yet. Aspinall cannot finish, so Daryl Gurney will be reacquainted with his favourite double. 100. Bit tricky, stepping across. He knows where it is. No score. He's been uh, unable to find it. Oh, gift for Aspinall. And one that he's one dart away from seizing. Oh, and again, it's another one. He's not happy with how he's let go of it at all. We are gearing up for the Grand Prix. And when Daryl Gurney won that tournament, this was a big part of it. Looks a little bit bemused that he hasn't found it in five darts here. And those darts may be standing in the way of the double above it. Game but shot. somehow he's found a way through. The trickiest shot of the lot delivered by Daryl Gurney. Oh, Gurney himself seems to see the funny side of it. 134. We have seen some wonderful stuff here at Players' Championship 25. Some incredible averages. 111 and change from Gerwin Price. 113 140. and change from Peter Wright. And then a record for the season on the Pro Tour of 115.4 from Conan Whitehead. A match which involved back-to-back 10 dart finishers from him. Yeah, we've seen a nine darter from Jeffrey Desvan. We've seen Peter Wright miss the double for a nine darter twice, both on your streaming board. One hundred and forty. Yeah, three missed seventh darts, a missed eighth, and two missed ninths on this stream one this afternoon. In fact, the missed eighth was Mervyn King against Daryl Gurney. It was quite a comical moment. One hundred and one. Gurney was waiting to show Mervyn a bit of respect, a bit of reward for the effort. King was having none of it. <laughs> Did not look at him. Ninety-eight. Well, Nathan Aspinall, the 170, won the UK Open with this. Will not win the fourth leg of this with it, though. 85. Daryl goes downstairs, now up for treble 18. If he finds it, he gets a dart at the ball. He gets nowhere near it. 39. Treble 15 or 19? It's the 15. Leaves double top. And Game the Stockport shot. man does level things up. Four legs in, four holes of throw. And these two cannot be separated. Daryl Gurney, the world number three and a two-time major champion. Nathan Aspinall, very much a new addition to the world's elite. 180. But he has looked so comfortable and at home mixing it with the big boys that you feel that he could be here for the long haul. 55. Yep, certainly showing no signs of fading away. It all started, as you mentioned, with that win here. Last year, went on to reach the semis at Alexandra Palace at the World 100. Championship. Then those two TV titles, and he's certainly in the mix of just about everything now. He is, of course, the, the minor derby, the 26. reigning UK Open and players' <coughs> champions on the hockey here. Gurney gearing up for that title defence, but there's plenty of big TV events around the corner. Eighty-five. That Daryl Gurney had progressed quite comfortably throughout the afternoon. Aspinall has had a few trials and tribulations. A One hundred. Five match against Tony Allison. That's had to come from behind against Michael Smith as well. I believe you had both of those matches on stream two. Ninety-six. Yeah, we had to. We certainly had the Michael Smith game on, and we did have Nathan's game against Alan Norris. Earlier on in the day, which was I mean, all his own way, could have been taken to a last leg decider, but he's been solid without being spectacular. But as you said, all the people who've done spectacular things have gone out the tournament. The solid stuff is winning. 20. That's not quite solid enough for Darrell Gurney. Three missed darts at double top. That is the 
part of the game that you'll be concerned about at the moment in this final. 140. 140 scored to leave the same target. Should Gurney fluff his lines from here? Game shot. He does not. And he wrestles back the lead. Well, look, I remember John Part saying that, yes, it's all about the big TV tournaments. And if you go and make quarters and semi-finals of big TV tournaments, as Darrell Gurney has been doing regularly, and of course he's, he's now added wins to that, then you're going to be up there in the world rankings. But if you're not winning events, if you're not going to a tournament and walking away as the best player in that day or that weekend or that week, if you that goes on and on and on, then it can eat away at you and it can eat away at your belief. Now, Dal Gurney should be playing with loads of confidence. He's world number three, a two-time major champion, a reigning major champion, won a Euro Tour this 135. year. But don't underestimate the power, the, the bonus it gives you to that confidence by walking away with a title on the day. So I can think of two men you could ask about that. One's called Taylor, the other one Van Gerwen. Well, and indeed, look, uh, Darrell Gurney, uh, televised performance of the year for me so far is Darrell Gurney beating Peter Wright in the quarterfinals of the World Match Play. As Nathan Aspinall looks at double 12 to level this game up again, and that's game a fabulous shot. leg of darts, an 11 data. But it took something truly Herculean to stop Peter Wright, and that was because he was playing with the greatest amount of confidence. Everything was going right for him. He'd won three titles on the spin going into the match play. Was playing magnificent. So I played brilliantly against Gurney, average 106 nearly, and yet still lost. Gurney couldn't fill it up. 140. Nor can Nathan. 140. Yeah, it is a very exciting time in professional darts. We have 100. plenty of TV titles to fight for just around the corner and plenty of players in the mix for them. It is not. A case of Van Gerwen wins it 96. unless he has a, a dreadful, dreadful time off. Because we know that Gurney can beat him. We know that Nathan Aspinall can beat anybody with the stuff he's playing. The, the final performance in Vegas was world class. He really does look the complete package, Nathan Aspinall. And he's an exciting watch as well. Even these grizzled veterans in the darts 58. world who just say, I like watching him play. Climbing the world rankings as well. He's almost certain to be in the top 10 sooner rather than later. 140. Gurney, a career high third. He believes he can get to second, perhaps even first. Who knows? Well, Darrell Gurney's yet to have one of those massive runs 42. at the World Championship either, where there's so much money. Slip well. from Aspinall allows Gurney a pretty comfortable opportunity to hold his throw here. Six starts from 93. 53. Just tidies it up, Darrell Gurney, knowing that Nathan cannot go out. 33. Well, he wouldn't like to 133, but he has to make do with 33. Game shot. And even if he had applied the pressure, Darrell Gurney may well have just taken that out. 4-3 in this race to eight. Darrell Gurney, of course, 100. lost in one of these finals to Dave Chisnell earlier on this year. Nathan Aspinall has lost to Ritaisky and Willie O'Connor in these this year. Somebody 60. breaks their duck on the floor. For 2019, for Darrell Gurney, it'd be a two and a half year wait brought to an end for a floor title. Gurney has been 60. one of the premier players for what around four years now, maybe five. And what is interesting is that if Nathan Aspinall beats him in this final, he actually has as many PDC titles as Darrell Gurney in an emergence that is not yet a year long. Yeah, but. Gurney's consistency 60. and his ability to make quarters and semi-finals of all those big TV events. And look, we could have been talking about Darrell Gurney, world match play champion, were it not for that stunning comeback from Rob Cross in the semi-finals. 44. I mean, had he done that, Darrell Gurney could have been a three-time champion. He was a semi-finalist at the Premier League this year. Darrell Gurney has had a very, very solid year, as befits the world number 125. three. 125. But maybe... People don't look at him in the same way as they look at 
perhaps more lauded figures like 30. Peter Wright, Gary Anderson. G uh, right now, Daryl Gurney looks more likely to win the World Championship than, say, Gary Anderson, I would argue. 85. Well, we could argue, but we'll get on with this match. Although Nathan Aspinall has had more money 58. staked on him to win the Worlds than anybody else apart from Michael Van Gerwen with Ladbrokes. All eyes on the ass. Two eyes up. Double 16 and finds it to tie it up at four apiece. Well, it's 4-4. Four, four. We've had eight legs. Every single one of them a hold of throw. There have not been a huge number of opportunities to break. 180. Yep, there was one in the very first leg when Aspinall had a golden chance to do it. But since then, it's been, well, as you said, Dan, solid, I think, is the best 100. word to describe this final. And indeed, everything that has preceded it. Yeah, well, in fact, Daryl Gurney has not had a dart to break Nathan Aspinall in this match. Nathan twice has had opportunities, but they've only 91. been fleeting ones. Yeah, the, the first couple of legs, the the key point was going. He didn't have a dart to break, but he did. He was on double 12 when Aspinall mm. fired in that 155. 180. Now fires in a maximum. It's his first of this final, Nathan Aspinall. It's his 19th of the day. 180. That is Daryl Gurney's fourth of the final and brings him to 18. Well, he's actually on a on a potential 10 darter. Go for it. Go for it, Super Chin. Come on. You're here to entertain. Well, the crowd will be disappointed. <laughs> Game shot. But Daryl Gurney will not be. Wonderful. The 11 dart leg to edge back ahead again. Oh, that's how you snuff out any thoughts of a break of throw. Just chuck 11 darters in. If Gurney continues to do that on his own throw, then Nathan Aspinall, barring perfection, will be robbed of an opportunity. 96. To turn this game in his favour. What is very, very impressive about Daryl Gurney in particular is that he seems to 59. have the knack of beating the, the top players, the informed players. Just mentioned that match player match against Peter Wright. Well, look at what Peter Wright was producing today. And he ran into Daryl Gurney. All right, neither player got anywhere near their top level. But it was Gurney who beat him. Had that run of wins against Michael Van Gerwen as well earlier this year. Well, as he always says, Daryl Gurney, he may not be the best player in the world. He doesn't think he'll ever be the best player in the world, but he can beat the best player in the world. He can beat anybody because he has a solid game. And so often it is about Daryl Gurney being able to 95. hold his throw and just there'll be one chance to break. He'll nick it and then he can take the, take the match by two or three legs. That's exactly what he's done all the way through today. Three, six, three wins, a seven, four 16. wins. Just one break a throw here or there. Is it what he's going to do in this final? Is he going to do it in this leg? Not going to do it by taking out the biggest finish of them all, but he's going to leave himself handy. One hundred and twenty. And this one twenty may well have to go. Is this the opportunity for Gurney, or is it another stunning checkout from Nathan Aspinall under pressure, moving to the left? Eighty. I thought there was more room to the right. But he can't find tops, and Daryl Gurney does have, for the first time in this final, a chance to break Aspinall's throw. Just a little shuffle across. A sniff Game of a shot. chance, and Daryl Gurney takes that chance. And that is one leg, but it is a huge leap towards doubling his title of his tally of floor titles. textbook super chin display this it's a 97 average keeps on holding his throw he's hit five 180s we know he's a massive 180 hitter but he has brought them to bear on nathan aspinall in this final he's crafted one chance to break he seized it and now it's about protecting that lead and you do that by smashing in big scores and holding your throw and he's doing that absolutely superbly here Five perfect darts for Daryl Gurney, but we won't see him have a go at the nine. Yeah, disappointing deflection, that one. It was on course to join the other two in the bed. 100. So you could just see the point diverted below. Gurney will not mind. 
He's holding all the aces now. 100. Forty-five. Well, Nathan feels that this leg is gone, and he's probably right. Double twelve for an eleven data. Double Game six shot. for a twelve data will do just as nicely. So, on throw, the last couple of legs on throw, Daryl Gurney has gone eleven data, twelve data, and it has just shot out Nathan Aspinall's hopes 100. of getting the break of throw that he needs. Of course, the break in the middle makes this look lot more comfortable than earlier and he's settled into this groove 99 average 96. and it looks like Nathan Aspinall might be denied in a final of a Players Championship event for the third time this year and it does look like a, a textbook dare for Daryl Gurney when you look back through the, the results the players that he's played have not been easy opponents by any stretch of the imagination Darren Webster in the first round he beat 6-2 Steve Lennon Mervyn King and Yellow Class and all 6-3 then Peter Wright 6-2 and a 7-4 win in the semi-finals against Ian White, the number one seed. Yeah, I mean, you've got four major champions there, a World Cup finalist this year, and Darren Webster, 100. a man who's won titles here before. So that is, they are all potential banana skins, and he has negotiated them safely, solidly. 100. And he's gone 100.5 average in the semis. He's averaging 99 here. He has produced his solid and consistent stuff. And we know that Daryl Gurney's level, solid and consistent, is enough to win titles. So that maximum keeps Aspinall in contention. So at least 93. for now, he takes his tally for the day to 20. And now he wants 20. Game shot. Finds it, but has to find a way to break Daryl Gurney now. That's one. He needs three more on the spin. He has not been able to win more than one on the spin in this final because Daryl Gurney has been solid. And when Gurney goes off 58, he has to hit back with at least two trebles. 58. 100. He only managed to match in the opening exchange. But he's going to do better than that here. 140. But it still might not be enough. 180. Because that is maximum number six for Daryl Gurney. It leaves him a bogey number, but it brings him closer, closer to the title. Aspinall, well, he wants to stay there. But can he find his way through to the 57? It would make sense to stay there and ensure that he's on the 170, wouldn't it? Could look at the ball. 133. Maybe he was scared of knocking that dart out, but he is on the signature shot. Well, the 155 in the second leg of this match was enormous. And he announced that Nathan Aspinall was here to fight and battle. And he has fought and battled all the way through this. It's just that Gurney has been so, so hard to beat. And he's trying to figure out the best route here. Decides to go on the 18s. I wonder if part of that was just making Nathan Aspinall wait a little longer. Well, his wait. 100. Two and a half year wait for a second floor title, maybe over now. On his old friend, double eight. Wow. And Daryl Gurney, you can hear the roar, you can hear what it means to him. It's glory <laughs> for Gurney in Barnsley. A second title on the floor, his first of 2019 to go with the European Tour event he won earlier in the season. The players' champion has won a Players' Championship event this year, beating Nathan Aspinall in the final. It is another victory by a margin of three legs. A very, very solid and consistent day for Daryl Gurney. Aspinall loses in the decider for the third time this year on the Pro Tour, but Gurney is a champion.
and he will take home £10,000. We heard what it meant to him already, but we'll get some actual words to go with that roar as Daryl Gurney talks to Dan Dawson. Daryl. First thing I say to you is, woo! Well done. Stand here. Yeah. We're talking in that one. Yeah. Can't, Daryl, it's not the Euro Tour. You can't sort of sit around and like go and talk to the fans I'm or anything. I've done the old Titanic. That's <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, right? The first thing ever was whenever I'd won something, I'd drop on my knees. And uh, was it the, the Premier League? The net of a qualify for the semi finals was, thank God you didn't drop your knee. Because I'm peed off the knees. Hold on, yeah. Hold on. Well done, Nathan. Daryl Gurney, our winner today. Daryl, it is about time you won another one of these, isn't it? You've been winning major titles, you won a Euro Tour, and after more than two and a half years, you've now won another floor event. How's that feel? Uh, it feels too long, but um, yeah, no, I mean, obviously, the, the floor tournaments have seemed to struggle. Um, I don't uh, seem to be bringing my A game, and uh, for all of a sudden this week, everything was going great. Well, every week it's going our great and then all of a sudden this week I just thought there was something extra and um, there was a couple of times I was lucky today but uh, everybody needs luck but uh, they won a second pro tour whenever it's my weakest um, uh, when you say away from the stage uh, I'm, I'm very very proud especially to beat um, Nathan Aspinall a great friend superstar well I mean look you, you beat Nathan Aspinall you beat Peter Wright uh, you've been you, you had a, a pretty tricky route through to the title today and yet nobody has managed to get within three legs of you so I mean it, you say I've needed a bit of luck but you've not had to survive match darts nobody's got close to pushing you to, to that stage yeah but th uh, th there has been times that I've, uh, I've actually been in front and I know that if I can hold my throw here I'll be okay and then all of a sudden I've kicked off 60 and maybe an 80 or a ton or something like that which is obviously not enough uh, for your first six starts. And then I've kicked in, I was all just relax, calm down. And if you can bang a 180 in there, you put them under pressure. And that's what I've been doing um, kind of all day. Uh, hitting a 180, setting it up, taking it out, and kind of relieving the pressure. And then all of a sudden the pressure then shifted onto them and I've uh, kicked them well. And then obviously gave myself the opportunity and took it. Look. You're the reigning players champion. You won the World Grand Prix a couple of years ago. You've won a Euro Tour. And I know you're, you're playing in the Premier League. You're flying all around the world doing World Series stuff. These are different. It's got to be diff difficult to get up in the same way yeah. than if you're playing Michael Van Gerwen in front of 10,000 people in the Premier League. But they're still important, right? They're important to sharpen yourself up and, and just get that winning feeling of being the best player on the day from a, a top quality field. Well, oh, honestly, these are harder to win than a TV tournament. God's honest truth and uh, how long they are, how, uh, I mean, obviously you could, you could play an absolutely unbelievable game and you're thinking, wow, what a game that was. And then they'll turn around out, out here and go to you, um, Daryl, yeah, uh, seven minutes you're on. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> and you're, I'm still t catching my breath. But um, no, honestly, th these are so hard and probably, obviously they won a major, they won uh, a Europeans is bigger than these, but these are actually probably more important. Um, because if you don't do it here, you're you're going to struggle. And God's honest truth, uh, Matt messaged me this week. He goes, says, the way the way it's going, he says July maybe you're you maybe you'll be a seed in the Europeans, uh, but you need you need to knock off like 15 grand or something like that uh, between now and then. And then I thought, oh God, I've got to got to get well, it. Well, that's <laughs> 10 grand. That's 10 grand. He's just seen off, and he'll be back tomorrow as well. Uh, maybe he'll make it 20. Last time he won one of these, he went all the way to the final the very next day and Mixed nearly did it. it yeah, I know. Joe Cullen won that yeah, <laughs> that day. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Super Chin is our winner today. We will be back tomorrow for Players' Championship 26. The Northern Irish number one, the world number three. He does it on TV. He does it in Europe. And finally, he's back doing it in Barnsley.